morning, everybody. Um, is that upside down? It might be backwards. <laughs> Let's try it all of the ways. If you haven't figured it out yet, you are watching my channel and I am JD's Creative. Um, so, hello. Okay, somebody asked me today uh, how I made this. And for those of you that don't know how to create this texture with alcohol ink, um, on you both, oh, there's a surprise something on the back side. Uh, but specifically, they wanted to know what, how I made this. And there's a lot of videos out there. I think the first time I saw this was, uh, I think it was Jane Monteith. Um, and so I'm just going to recreate this today. Just the beginning part of it. I don't have one that is ready to um, reveal. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, just stop. We'll get into that. So the first thing I want to do is this is just rubbing alcohol. Um, 99 proof isopropyl and I've put it into this little squishy bottle and so I'm just going to put some on to a piece of Yupo paper just like this one if you're wondering what the paper looks like it is this Yupo paper from Legion Yupo Yupo potato potato I could be wrong, that might be wrong, but anyways. Um, so I did a purple and blue one. Now today I think I'm going to do a teal, maybe a teal one. Um, teal or green, so I'll just do some greens and see. Oh, I don't know. Let's try, ooh, no, too similar. Okay, let's just do these, the two different greens. So I've got some alcohol on there already. I'm just going to do some splitty, splitty splats. Um, maybe some of the lighter green. I don't have any yellow. I'm currently out of yellow, so I'm not even going to do that, but I will put some. Oh, and if you're into that, these are um, Ranger um, Tim Holtz colors. And I think this one is lettuce. No, it's citrus and stream citrus and stream and then from pinata i am putting some rich gold i'm just watching this kind of go around now i on this one thought it would be nice to have some white um but well, maybe not so i'm going to take some of this gold and just splatter it around now i could just leave this dry it would be beautiful um, I'm also going to take a little color extender. Maybe I shouldn't have put the alcohol in or the uh, rubbing alcohol in there, but I have some color extender in a bottle. I don't know. It might make it um, spread it a little bit more, get a little more of that color going around. So we could just leave this like this. Then we're going to take stretch and seal. It doesn't have to be the fancy kind. I got this one at the Dollarama for $1.50. You don't have to use Saran Wrap brand or whatever brand you like. Ugh, this this is why you pay $1.50 because it doesn't necessarily rip good. Make a ball. The smaller the ball, the more texture. Ugh, squish it and Drop it. Now I could just leave it and we'd have these big pieces. I like to play around with this a little bit before I let it go. I'm just gonna clink, clink, clink. Okay. Now I am going to let this sit for about 24 hours and that doesn't make for a really great video so while I have you here I thought okay so we just take this and we are just going to set it aside I'm just going to turn it now you have to wait until this is completely totally 100% 
dry so that when you peel off this saran wrap, it's not still wet under there because the alcohol ink will continue to dry and it will change the pattern. So you won't get this specific pattern that you've created, okay? So we've got that one. I'm just gonna set it aside on the drying rack. I'll show you a couple of other things that I was doing today. I created this one, kinda looks like rose petals. It was just fun. Um, another thing that I've done lately was I was just working with stripes. I'm going to do another one of these like this for you while I have you on the video. Um, and I, this was a teep. This is this is a teepee. It's um my version my impressionistic version of what a teepee looks like. And in my hometown of Medicine Hat, Alberta, we sport the world's largest teepee. So you could Google that or whatever to see what it really looks like. This is just a maple panel that I purchased at my local wood supplier, Windsor Plywood. And then these are all little pieces of Yupo paper that I have glued down. Now I plan to resin this but I wanna get a couple of pieces together before I do just one. Ooh, so loud. And then I have this one that I want to resin as well. This is just on a wood panel, glued it down. I prepped my panel first with the GAC 100, GAC 100 from Golden. And then I glued my papers down with the Liquitex Professional Heavy Gel. And then, if I needed to, um, then I use a, just a standard glue stick um, for the little tiny pieces of paper, not for this one. Now, on top of this, I'm going to spray it with a color fixative so that this does not blend or reactivate the alcohol ink and then blur. And then I will varnish it before I resin it. So that's what I have there. And then since I have you here today, I thought I would take this other scrap piece of Yupo paper. And I don't know, I think we're gonna, I think we should do stripes. Or maybe we'll do, I'll do one with a void in it. So, I don't know. Let's try, oh, this stuff is not the best. This is washi tape. First of all, it's nice to stick your paper down so that it doesn't move around on you. And then I, I like to do a, like a void. So I had a really, I had a lady that super loved um, a hot pink one that I did. And I think I might try to recreate it with black gold and this, this um, Tim Holtz color, the wild plum, a little bit of the pinata gold and maybe the manila black. So I'm going to put a little bit of color extender. Get it in there good. I'm just gonna leave my let my lids to the side. Um, maybe a strip of black. And also, I like to use let me see if I can find it. I like to use these. Ooh, ah! I like to use these sponges. They are the equivalent to a magic eraser. Um, but they're really great for spreading color. Um, I'll give it once. So I just take, actually, I'll probably just take a scissor, or I could take this knife cut it nice and straight so I don't use the whole sponge oops okay so I'm going to take this which you see I've already used and I'm going to just oh it looks so pretty I don't know if I want to I'm just gonna give it one of those just like that it makes it really it's a nice texture then 
maybe so wild plum and just see what happens I think that's pretty let's just wait for a second and see what happens yeah I, I like it but it's no fun if you just do one thing and then leave it so let's take this again and zoop. I love that Oh, I'm, leave I'm leaving this. I think it's so nice. Okay, wait. Let's do one of these. And then if I didn't have all this stuff on here, it would be safe, but it's not. So let's just take all this off. And I'm just going to give it a tip. <clears throat> Go on. <gasps> what is that? Ugh. Okay. No, nope, it's too much. Let's go this way. No. Nope. Let's go this way. Nope. I have a angle brush and I'm just going to drag it along here. Just to help it. Just to help it a little tiny bit. There we go not doing very much so I'm just going to take my color extender again and I'm going to go like this and watch it watch the magic let's bring it up closer tip it now that tape is gonna <laughs> a tape will in theory hold back the ink from getting under it, but it looks kind of like it's seeping right there. I don't care. I don't care. It's fine. Don't leave your brush on your tray if you're going to tip your tray because it's going to roll on your art. I really like how there's voids here. Um, so I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it and I'm going to go to the other side. So this time I'm going to do rubbing alcohol the 99 then I'm gonna start with the wild plum then I'm gonna go with a gold and I'm going to give it a drag maybe the other way oh you know what I've oft I wanted to try this so we're gonna go like that Oop. And then, pinata, no, not the pinata blanco. Let's do snow cap. Uh oh. I don't think there's any in there. Uh oh. And I can't get it open. Ah, okay, forget it. Let's try snow cap. I feel like snow cap leaves back. I think it leaves like a. Uh, like a yucky, like grainy texture. Use your words, Jen, use your words. So now that I've got a little bit of this white and this gold, and I've got it spread across here, I'm going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol on the end of my sponge. I hope you can see that. I hope I'm still on camera. And I'm going to drag it through this. Oh, do you hate me for wanting to do that? I'm going to do it anyways. Meh. But if you wait, it'll do stuff. It'll do stuff and it'll do things. It kind of activates the ink again. And then we're going to go that way. And it's not 100% proof, foolproof that that'll stick because I didn't stick it to the, to the tray. Okay, leaving it. 
gonna add oh just a just a tiny little bit don't need too much there's that and there's that and I'm just gonna ooh, brighten things up a bit so we've got a dark side and we've got a light side then a paper towel oh my god okay and we just wait for this to spread a little just like that one is doing Could take our little angle brush with a little black on it, give it a little help. Maybe a little color extender. And if you really don't want this blue maybe you don't want this white void to happen so what we can do i think we have a little bit of leakage but that's okay so i'm going to pull this away oh just a smidge not too too much now if we want to have it so that it's you know because i have this little smudge here i'm going to take a little bit of color extender and I'm just going to run it, or maybe alcohol, and I'm just going to run it through here and blend that line a little. Just like that. Did help it along a little bit with a draw Be careful your spit will start running down your straw and it will land in your art and I don't know. I think I like it just the way it is. I'm really afraid I'm going to start getting a lot of black in here. So I'm going to leave it and we're just going to let it dry and let it do its own natural thing. And that gold is really pretty in there. I want it, it's still wet, so I don't want to move it before it's totally dry. And that black has become like a purple. The gold is splitting and I'm sorry my light is just terrible let me take you down here Whew. and we'll just wave it across and catch up little pieces of that gold yeah okay so that is my video today it is just a couple of techniques i hope you found it helpful and if you have any other questions and you want to learn more ways of what i've been doing on my instagram which is jd's creative please ask i will do my best to do a video for you thanks for watching bye